Hey guys, what's up? This is Bri. Happiest of Tuesdays to you. Today I'm having a good morning. I got an opportunity to practice my philosophy. The Stoic Gods blessed me with the challenge I'll share today. We've also got the Aura Scores 89, Readiness 88, Sleep Score. We'll do some quick one, two, three on that. But as always, we're going to start by recommitting to practicing our philosophy today. This is our Optimized Coach Declaration. I left the cap off last night. Ink's a little not great. Uh, it's day one, folks. Every single day we show up as professionals. Boom. Recommit. Now, I haven't been showing you my journaling every single morning, but I do it every single morning. I tell you, I like stacks of paper. Here's what my journaling looks like. I like to do it on loose leaf. I used to just throw these out. I didn't collect them. Just as a reminder of day started again. Boom. Day one. Day one. Day one. But here's the uh, last you know month or whatever since I started doing these videos and capturing them. I'm capturing the main soul goals and wildly important targets at the top. Then I've got my compass and I've got my big three times two every single day. It's a little different, but you'll see that it's the same basic ideas. Wisdom, self-mastery, courage, love, hope, gratitude, curiosity, zest. Boom, let's go. Celebration, etc. My destiny goals, 101% hustle on energy, work, and love. Athlete, philosopher, soulmate, disciplined, prolific, connected. I've got my behaviors. Got my deep work targets, got my what I'm going to do love-wise. Kind of a fun addition here. I've got my dad AM, PM, which is locked in now. And then I've got wifey AM and PM. We've got a new ritual that came out of our date day, the ABCs of intimacy. We're doing a loop together in the PM. And I'm going to suggest this morning to her that we do one in the morning together. Excited about that. So, shall we go to Aura first and I'll talk about my targeted thinking. My computer crashed on me in the middle of working on my note on Larry King at literally, it's like a year and a half, two years old. Just blinked, gone, done. Won't turn on, did all the normal things. All right, perfect. Literally, that was my response. That was surprised. Oh, that's interesting. Turned off. Perfect. That's how we respond to everything. Perfect. It is what it is. Thank you, Stoic Gods. I get an opportunity to practice my philosophy I say that I want to live with these virtues. Awesome. Thank you for the opportunity to do it. If my highest goal, my ultimate goal, my sumum bonum is to high five my inner soul and to live with Arte in this moment, then I look at challenges like that, which frankly, in you know, one sense is more than a little annoying. I got some work I want to get done today. Stymied. But who cares? Big picture, not a big deal. And this gives me an opportunity to practice. It's like, as the stoic gods say, God has given you a young buck to train. You want to be an Olympic athlete, they say? Boom, train hard. You need to train against good competition. The Stoic Challenge, William B. Irvine wrote a whole book on this. It's awesome. Anytime something goes wrong, you laugh with the Stoic gods and say, ah, very clever, very clever. Let me see how I'm going to respond to this. Now, I, my approach is what I call targeted thinking. It's kind of an extension of neutral thinking from Trevor Moad, and it takes what it takes. But I like targeted thinking. Two parts to it. What do I want? So something happened. My immediate response is perfect. Jocko Willings got good. I say perfect. Our whole team, perfect. That didn't go well. Perfect. Obstacles make me stronger. Alms. All day, every day. So then targeted thinking has two components. What do I want? And then now it needs to get done. So what do I want? I want a computer that works because Larry King... And uh, James Puelski are interviewing me on Thursday, which is why I've been hustling to get their philosopher's notes and TVs done. And, you know, I got a backup Max, but they're a few years old and I need a new computer. So what did I do? Well, that's what I want. I want a computer that works tomorrow at 5 p.m. when I'm being interviewed on Zoom. Important. Two, what needs to get done? Buy a new computer. Boom. What do you think I did this morning? Bought a new computer. Arriving tomorrow. End of discussion. Let's get back to work. Literally, that's my approach to something like that. Um, and then I just have gratitude. I'm like, really, this is my biggest challenge right now? I've got a computer that isn't working and I can appreciate all the times that it works perfectly. Get on with my life. No complaining, no criticizing ever is the standard. Am I perfect at that? Of course I'm not. But I'm going to practice and today was frankly rather easy. And part of the reason why it was easy was because I was, I'm feeling great. Readiness is 89, which is, Excellent according to Aura's standards. Um, my sleep was great. It's so funny to me to see the magic number for me is nine hours in bed. I woke up literally in nine hours and like 10 seconds. I start my stopwatch. 
just so I have a sense if I wake up in the middle of the night. And it was nine minutes and I like, kind of laughed. Usually I lay there for like an extra minute or two and kind of, you know, cut a little bit with Emerson and then get out of bed. But I just hopped out this morning laughing. Um, and then eight hours, boom, okay, 88% efficiency, eight hours of sleep. Thank you, 1,000 second stopwatch. Um, happy with it. Two hours of deep sleep, two hours and two minutes, hour and 20 minutes of REM. We'll take it. Readiness, 42 resting heart rate. We're bringing that back down. Remember how it started climbing? We're bringing it back down. I'm excited again to start testing the PEMF intervention when it comes back tomorrow. Heart rate variability was a little lower than it was the last couple of days. It's interesting because my, this is a very subtle thing, but my heart rate lowered later last night. Heart rate variability, yeah, I'm sorry, that was yesterday. Um, last night was 63, max of 113, we'll take it. But my heart rate average was 46, but it lowered later than the day before. And again, this is a tiny little thing, but it got to my lowest of 42 earlier, two nights ago. And the main contributor to this is we were working on our garden a little bit late last night. I learned that I used to train a little too hard um, later in the days, which is one of the ways to keep your resting heart rate up. And I used to do like rancher work, you know, I'd carve out our trail after work at night, but I found that that actually left me um, not as relaxed heading into the night. Now, last night I threw, you know, a thousand plus pounds of gravel out of our car onto the ground to um, put into the labyrinth garden that Nama's making uh, for us. Um, and I don't usually do that, but that little bit of working out and then doing a little other stuff later at night led to a subtle change there. Is that a big deal? No, of course it's not, but it's fun to look at those little details. And just to stress again, like I responded to this little challenge this morning of my computer dying very, very well, in part because I train all day, every day to do so, and because my energy was great. Now, if I had stayed up all late, late last night, blowing up my mind with electronics and whatever's cool show that the cool kids are watching on Netflix, and I got six hours of sleep, how do you think I would have responded to something like that? First of all, I wouldn't have even been trying to do deep work because I would have started my day like everybody else, blowing myself up with inputs, probably news, feeling less than inspired, and then it just would have been a circus all day relative to what I'm capable of doing. So anyway, energy drives everything. Get this right, and the rest of life is um, rarely as challenging as, as it is when we don't do it well. I'll just leave it at that for today. That's good. Oh, finally, I repaid my... Um, my 10 pull-ups and my 1,000K row. And when I do stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, that's like me. I honor my commitments. Boom, let's go. Another great day. What can you do today to make today awesome? Let's be happy together. Let's flourish together and make today another great day. Love to you and your family. See you.